Dear Camden, I'm usually really good at expressing my feelings towards you. However, right here and right now, I can't put together a sentence of the way that you make me feel or the many times you have put me in my place to be a better woman, a better Christian, and just overall a better person. Having fallen in love at such a young age is not something that many have experienced. Never did I ever think that at 16, I would find a boy who I would fall in love with and eventually marry as a man. I still remember the day that I wanted to tell you that I loved you. You were leaving for your two-week cruise, and it was the first time in a long time that I felt whole. I still remember hyping myself up on the way to the Moline Airport when I told myself I was going to tell you that I loved you. But then I got into my head that I was only 16, and we had been dating for two months, and there's no way that I should be feeling these feelings at such a young age within such a short amount of time. So I decided not to. Instead, I kissed you goodbye and walked to my car and cried in the Moline Airport parking lot for 15 minutes before leaving. As soon as I stepped out of that building, I felt like my world was falling apart. 16-year-old me was so dramatic. There are so many things that I have gained since the age of 16, wisdom being one of them, but the most important is the grace and forgiveness of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I definitely knew who God was when we met, but I wasn't as big of a believer as I thought I was. My grandpa died that year, and his death altered my life in many ways, one of them being my disconnection with God. Unfortunately, I blamed God for the death of my grandpa. He was my best friend, and my life shattered when he died. I blamed his death on God, and I blamed the separation of my family on God. I didn't realize until a year and a half later as I was about to be baptized, that God doesn't do anything that he does not have a reason for. My grandpa's death ultimately led to you. I know that's a morbid way of thinking it, but without my grandpa dying, I don't think I would have ever met you. And I definitely don't think that my relationship with God would be as strong as it is now. Life with you has been challenging. We've had to overcome a lot, but we did it together. I'd rather face every challenge that we encounter with you rather than without you. God really had my back when we first met, and I thank Him every morning and every night for giving me you. I will continue to love you even more today than I did yesterday. I will continue to be someone you can rely on and trust every single day of the rest of our lives. You mean so much to me. It almost makes my heart hurt for how much I love you. To me, the rest of our lives is not enough time. I can't wait to spend forever in heaven with you. I love you, Camden. Kelly Louise, I give you this ring to have and to hold to signify my love for you. I look forward to raising our family and building our friendship under the care and guidance of God. This is everything it should be. This is the beginning. The beginning of a long, beautiful journey. With you, I feel complete. My heart is full. You are the love of my life and the woman of my dreams. I am so excited to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you. Heavenly Father, Lord, may you hear and be pleased by the vow that Camden and Kelly are about to make before you. May the Holy Spirit empower them both to keep the vows. May the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, be glorified by how they live out these vows, and they already are by putting you first, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Camden, take you, Kelly, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward. I, Kelly, take you, Camden, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. 
to love and to cherish. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. It's okay. This is part of the ceremony. You ready to go on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sickness, sickness and, and health, until, until death, death do we part. part. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow to you. Kelly and Camden, and as much as you've given yourselves to one another in your vows and the giving and receiving of rings by the power and authority of our God, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. and kind. Kelly and Camden, don't be envious, boastful, or prideful. Do not dishonor each other and don't be self-seeking. Don't be easily angered and keep no records of wrongs. Don't delight in evil, but rejoice with the truth. Always protect and always trust. Always hope and always persevere. yesterday so crazy as a father they handed me this little dude and I knew I would die for him I didn't even know him you hold a special place in your mother and my heart you truly were a gift from God we knew we were going to have to be better people to be the parents that God wanted us to be to raise you right we failed but by the grace of God he turned out all right Camden posting on social media that you are no longer dating Kelly is not a good way to tell people you're married. <laughs> Kelly, if I could ask you to put your hand on your table. Just put your hand up on your table. Camden, go ahead and place your hand on Kelly's. Just take this note that that's probably the last time you'll have the upper hand. <laughs>
this marriage covenant that just as the song said their love is already on display and their testimony is out there that they honor you first and foremost lord give them the strength to endure all things through your love in jesus name amen <laughs>